Well, hello there, YouTube. It's Vadman here with, uh, Redstone Analysis of the Castle Wars 1 map. Today, um, I, or, it's quite some time ago, I got a suggestion by, uh, some person on, I think my, uh, Castle Wars 2 video that I should make a video about the redstone and all the components of my puzzle map you can download the puzzle map for yourself and check it out and today I will be talking about mostly redstone components and some other parts of this Castle Wars map the link to download will be in the description so I will start with my team's side Dylan and I were competing against Calvin and Wyatt um... let's get started um, I will first talk about all the minor components, um, and show you how each of them work, and then, let's just start from here, and then anything I miss, there's a lot of things in the control panel I'll show you guys. First line of defense, there is a pistonized door somewhere in here, right here, as you can see. Um, connected to the control room and can be used to block off the entrance. This map may be slightly changed from what um, was originally in the video because um, we actually did some stuff. Let me show you actually what this wall is composed of. It's a layer of water Di diamond block which has really high explosive uh, uh, resistance, layer of tons of diamond water, more diamond, let's see, oh yes, and water. A lot of the components here I actually have forgotten about myself, and I want to keep this as organized, this video as organized as possible without going all over the place. So the wall, as you can, uh, as you just saw, uh, thick layers of diamond blocks, water, and lava. Down here, under this entrance, is a layer of diamond, uh, or a layer of TNT, just in this area. This is this can be used to blow up this beginning area to make it harder for people to enter. This part is even harder. You have to jump down, or as this map was originally intended, you were not allowed to place blocks, but you can play however you want. Um, you have to get past this barrier. There is actually a path you can follow through that around the law without actually dying. But it's pretty much impossible uh, if the enemy team is shooting at you. There is also this walkway if people on my team are walking over to here to jump down and go that way towards the enemy. There's a pathway here um, which could not be accessible unless you were placing blocks which the map was originally not intended for but as I said again you can play however you want bunch of lava a TNT cannon up there I'll show you a water bridge to prevent enemy TNT from even if they were able to fly and hit our base water disarms the TNT um, at the moment with the current update which is I think I'm running week 12 snapshot 6 um, water does not actually prevent TNT from exploding if it was flying or it, it, when it explodes it has to be in water for it to be disarmed and only uh, do damage to players and mobs but anyways that is a pretty cool water wall addition um, there's a gap here so the water doesn't spill all over the place and it goes right between here. The ground is composed of a bunch of sand and there's one layer of bedrock here so that enemy players could not tunnel directly under everything and um, into the castle. Even though you weren't supposed to be able to, to, uh, to tunnel, I added that just as an addition. Um, at the beginning of this 
at the entrance. There are two pressure plates that actually don't do anything. They were there um, to prevent water, the water wall from spilling inwards. So I'll just make this for now. Because pressure plates do not allow water to go through. This is the pistonized door. By pulling each of these door locks, you can prevent the door from opening from both sides. I will disable the lock for now. That is part of the dispenser system, which I will show you in just a moment. This works uh, fairly simply. Um, <coughs> oh, oops. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of this redstone is incredibly unoptimized because when I made this map originally, I did not know a lot about redstone. So the lever here, the lever, was always powering this redstone if the lever was pulled down, preventing um, the pressure plates from opening the gate. And the, you had to pull each lock for each side to uh, be locked. Um, this connects all the, uh, the, the pressure plates to um, the pistonized, uh, pistonized door with inverters on both sides. The sides the same, pretty much. So yeah, as you can see, the pressure plates are powering the block, the the redstone down there, causing the torches to turn off, causing those to pull in. If you need to learn more about redstone, um, check the description. I have a video on the very very basics of redstone, so you can check that out. Um, then I have a system over here which never actually was used. Originally, um, before I changed the entrance to our side, um, there was a pressure plate that when activated would cause an RS snor latch to be tripped, causing a 5 clock to uh, play sound, which th there are no blocks up there, and turning that torch you saw. Um, turning the torch on. But that ne never was actually used. Um, let me show you the redstone, I think. So, I'll just start here. This is a basic uh, f 5 clock, one of the old style ones, with just a connection to that torch. Um, this redstone goes from here, 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 through the wall here. Oh, back then I didn't know about our snore latches, I'm guessing. I used some, I used a one-way trippable system where, um, so this used to be connected to a pressure plate. I don't, I don't think it is right now. Let me actually check. Oh yeah, I see it. It's, it's in lava. Oops. Oh, 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 not good. So that it doesn't work right now. So what would happen is, um, <coughs> If that was powered by a pressure plate, um, this piston would pull in, causing water to flow, breaking that torch, turning off that wire. As you can see right there. Breaking that, turning all that off, and you can hear the, uh, the alarm sounding. Quite annoying. And the light turned on. Let me just disable that so that it doesn't annoy you. Um, let us head over to the control room, which has most of the connections to everything, starting from the left. This is the emergency entrance lava flutter. First, I will show you where it is, and then I'll show you how it works, and then I'll activate it. So, it is located... Let me cover this up quickly. Sorry. <clears throat> right above here, as you can see, lava dripping through. Um, there's just a pistonized little thing right here. Four pistons blocking off lava. Right, uh, so the, the pistons push these blocks, which block off lava above. If you pull that lever, lever, um, those pistons will retract, pulling those blocks in, causing lava flow to flow down. The redstone's actually really, really simple. Um, this is it. This is just connection to the other side. 
that, that, it's inverted, so in the unpowered lever state, lever, both of these are, all the pistons are powered. So mind the jumble of wires here, I'll explain all that later, but this is the connection that the emergency lava flutter uses. So let me show you this in action. <clears throat> Once you pull it, um, there's pretty much no way to stop it because lava disappears really, really slowly. As you saw, the lava flooded down and blocks the entrance. If I pull the lever again, <coughs> the pistons do uh, retract, but the lava takes a really, really long time to disappear. Also, um, there's some glitch here. I, I actually don't know why this is happening. Possibly because the lava wasn't updated. I don't even know. This was made on a bucket server back in like 1.73. Yeah, back in 1.72 and I'll explain that. That's the part upstairs. So anyways, um, and I'm playing in a much later version so that there might be some problems with that. The water wall. This is what I was talking about. Um, I pull a lever, water floods down like so. Really, really easy to build. Um, all that is pretty much is a bunch of pistons that when that lever is unpowered, they're all closing off lo uh, the water. And now they just opened. And I had to do like a little trick like this to continue for more than 14 blocks without causing infinite loops and whatnot. Okay, so as you can see the wiring is pretty simple but I had to go around a lot of things because this was all very cramped and I wasn't very organized when I was making this. And actually... Oh! Uh, you can also power the water wall from above and it just uh, connects to the same place so they are both powering it if either one is pulled so if gate or no not not if or I mean sorry about that so and the water goes away pretty fast if you turn off the water wall so that's convenient um continuing on the TNT cannon um this system was built um back in 1.72. Um, back then there was a bug where you can infinitely duplicate blocks um, by using pistons when pistons first came out. So back then there was a slight modification. Here there were pistons constantly going really fast through a two tick clock um, or four tick clock, excuse me, two repeater clock. And it was constantly duplicating um, TNT here and over here so that this cannon could fire um, forever. Oh, the, the, those are actually the clock clocks. So it could fire uh, permanently, but um, that was fixed in 1.73 when we filmed this, so I was really sad. Um, let me just enable this clock. Let's see. So this is a really fast pulsing clock. Oh, this one actually didn't need to be enabled. Wow. <laughs> this is the one that needs to be... Wait, do... Wait a second. Yeah, this one needs to be enabled. So does that... No, I... I'm sorry, guys. I haven't used this map in so long. I've forgotten everything. Um... <clears throat> So if you, right now, you had to make sure that this clock was running before you could actually um, use the trigger mechanism downstairs or this button. Um, right now, this I, I changed it a bit uh, for 1.73. This sand um, acts as filler blocks, so the cannon should work for um, five, five shots. Yeah. That's about right. There actually might be a 
problem with this cannon. I haven't fully tested it after, uh, because I didn't really feel like even using it, because it lost its awesomeness. But I'll show you guys at the end when we're going to blow everything up. No, we're not going to blow everything up, but I'm just going to show you all the destructiveness in this map. So continuing on <coughs> with the control panel. Oh, and uh, I hope I didn't break anything. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, the cannon's just connected. So that lever you saw is connected directly to... this mechanism. And I I believe is it a button? Oh actually that might be a problem. Yeah, as you can see I never tested this um just realized that. So yeah. Um that's pretty simple. And I'll show you how the shooting works later. Continuing um with the dispenser control system. Um, dispenser control, um, this just, there are dispensers hidden behind this curtain of lava. Um, I will show you that in just a moment. What happened? Oh, everything changed so much. The water and the lava don't mix well. <clears throat> so this, um, lever follows this line down, 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 to... Right now it's overriding this, uh, five tick, or five, the, the, this, uh, simple pulsar clock, and it is connected to series of dispensers on both sides. Also, this is not very well made. I think it's connected on both sides. Should be. Let's see. Yeah, not well made. Oh, it's not even connected. Well, anyways, let me see if that even works. Oh, seems like it's working. Oh, and I'm lagging a lot. Oh, and as you can see, there are uh, fire arrows now. Pretty pretty cool system. Still works, I'm guessing. So that tweak you saw there, um, that will not be in the final map because I'm gonna be too lazy to fix it. So either it'll it won't work or you'll have to fix it yourself. Sorry. <coughs> so that's pretty simple. Um now we have the the piston door at the beginning. I showed you guys. Let's see. Um, it should be. It's open right now. It's just a really, really long line of uh, redstone and repeaters underground going. I'm probably not even going to show that because that's pretty simple. If you need to learn how to do that, once again, check the description. Watch the video. I have of simple redstone stuff. So as you can see that close that door. Um the the TNT you saw at the beginning also at that walkway is controlled by this button here. Um I will explode that soon, but first I want to show you um a cannon over here. This cannon. This is a four stack cannon. Pretty cool. Not the best design. Um, I think I could even make a better one right now, but with with my knowledge now, but back then I didn't know as much. Um, all it does is shoots TNT into that cobweb. You can reload it, shoot it again. Um, I'm going to shoot it a couple times right now. You do not need to press two buttons. It's only a one button system. Also, this triggers a water gate like that. So that uh, back then, it might even work right now, I don't know. 
it'll prevent the TNT from doing terrain damage. And this lever causes this block to move over, flooding this with lava and all the staircase so that enemies, if they got onto here, they couldn't get through. So let me show you. I'll just trigger that, I guess. Nothing special. You, you saw that. Um, let's try it. Oh. We have a problem. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is not good. Okay, be right back, guys. Um, as of this snapshot, or as of one point, oh, I think you can't place redstone on glowstone anymore. Or for some reason, maybe in the snapshot they re-added that you can place uh, redstone, but not uh, repeaters. But it used to be in 1.0 that any redstone items would not be able to be placed on in 1.0. So let me fix this one second. Okay, guys, I placed um, stone blocks abo uh, below the. <laughs> repeater in this area, so they should work. Um, hopefully I didn't mess up any of the timing. Let's hope. Let's see. There we go. Uh, shell went off. Boom. What happened? Oh, gosh. TNT physics might have changed a lot. So, you might have to adjust the power of this cannon. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe the TNT fell through the glowstone? I don't know. Let's try this. But, I don't think it messed it up. Yep. Oh! Aha! Now it falls through lava. Ah, it doesn't go through, um... Cobweb anymore. That's what's changed. I know you guys love the low explosions. I love them, too. A lot. Let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, so that worked how it should have. How I planned it, to at least, in the beginning. I think TNT physics got better now, because before, TNT would just jump all over the place, even through blocks, so that you could have cannons that, like, sometimes worked perfectly, sometimes would just blow themselves up. I think this design actually would work. So you would continue um, shooting until you blasted into the enemy fortress. Um, I'm probably not going to show you the enemy fortress. It's pretty simple. Um, you can check it out yourself. Plus, I didn't make it, so. Um, bunch of TNT cannons. Um, a piston pusher system. I guess I should show you this later, but. There's just a clock going that pushes all of these um, repeaters in a certain order and pistons in a certain order to push like a bridge through there. So you could push the TNT into the wall, but anyways. This explosion might actually blow up the enemy castle, but let's see. This kind of is working pretty good now. I know it blew up last time I recorded. Oh. That did not go well. Too much power. I'm sorry if I'm making this video too long or boring. I'm not trying to. I'm trying to keep you guys entertained. Oh, okay. It got stuck in that cobweb. Just as I wanted it to. A couple more shots and it should go through. And blow up the enemy fortress. Then I'm going to show you after I do that. I'm going to show you the main cannon, self-destruct mechanism, and the the escape mechanism I also built, which is pretty cool. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Chain reaction, chain reaction. 
Well, you get the point, and you can keep doing this over and over. That was a plugin I had. Oh. So, right now, if you were playing this Castle Wars map, you could keep doing this over and over and um, blow up your enemy with that. Let me just fire one of. As you can see, I didn't build this, so I don't even know where the button is. If there even is a button. Slightly different design, also a good design. Oh, okay. Well, anyways. <laughs> to continue with all the explosion fun, goodness. Okay, more explosions, but whatever. That's um, Calvin's and Wyatt's castle. But if we continue with our castle, um, let's try fire this cannon. I actually haven't tried it. I'm interested if it's going to work or not. Uh, or no. Let me show you this secret cannon we have. You can get through the roof up here, over, over here, into a secret, secret cannon. Pretty simple cannon, um, I think. It requires... Oh, oops. How did this work? Oh, there's a button here. Probably. No, that would be bad. That makes sense. Let's try this. Um... Just a mini cannon with a two button system. Oh, okay, that didn't really work. <laughs> that was really strange, but anyways. Also like a secret way where you can attack and things. I I know I'm more entertaining when I'm with filming with someone else, but getting this map on a server is too hard and I was lazy. Um, so, let me show you this cannon. Let's see if it actually works. Um, is the clock still running? Yep, it's good. Let's try it. So, the, the delay should be working properly. Okay, it works. As you just saw. Okay, yep, yep, yep. The shells are getting stuck, though. Oh, okay. So this stack needs more sand. Or filler blocks, but whatever. Oh god. Explosion. Yeah. Originally I got this uh, cannon idea from Kirshar. Cool guy. Really cool guy, actually from Canada. K-I-E-R-S-H-A-R. -S some really cool redstone stuff. And Ethos Lab. Also from Canon Designs. So let's blow up that. Um, what else is there? There was... Did we push everything out? That... that we already used it, so let's do that. Cleef fly there. Boom, 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 boom. Makes a giant hole here. Didn't even finish blowing up. Not well. As you saw, that did no terrain damage, cause. It was um, underwater, and that didn't either. For some reason, I couldn't place a block there. Wait, what? It's really strange, but whatever. Um. Oh, and there's lava flowing down now, because that's the layers of the wall blowing up. Oh, someone's steam mastering me. Oh, I would like to remind you guys. Um. Please join my Steam group. The link is in the description. If you don't have Steam, 
go download it. Also, link in the description. This is really important if you want to participate in possibly filming Castle Wars 3 or other events. So I'm going to post like players of the week, uh, any like information if we're filming with people and, and cool stuff like that. Um, I think this was it, except for, um, so yeah, the TNT is connected just by a really long strand of redstone with tons of, um, repeaters. About the Steam group, just click join Steam group after you get a, if you have a Steam account. All links are in the description. Please do that. Please, please. This is an emergency escape system. What this does, there's an RS snore latch. Triggered by this pressure plate. Close this entrance back up. Let me show you how this works. Uh, th just a simple R snore latch. I think I also have that in my redstone tutorial, also in the description. R snore latch um, reset by the pressure plate underground and by the second button, th this button. And it just. Um, once you push it, it keeps it open until um, you step on the pressure plate downstairs. And we have like a secret evacuation thing which we never actually used. And something my sister made. I think. Wait, boats? Yeah, boats. This was back when she also didn't know a lot about Minecraft. She thought that you would just trap yourself in here. But you could actually get out by... Oh, you used to be able to get out. Now you can't. Unless... Magic. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I think that is everything. If I forgot everything, anything, then my bad. Um... This was, I think, either me or Wyatt testing. Let me actually try this. This is interesting. And a pretty cool uh, cannon design. <clears throat> Where I think you can have a dual stack. Let me see. Nope. Okay, that was bad. But, anyways, the... That went too powerful. You can use this to test if um, water or uh, lava have an effect on mm, on TNT explosion. So this is Calvin's side. Um, I'm just gonna quick show you a quick thing about of it. You can check out the map for yourself in the description. Once again, join my group, please. That would be really helpful. <laughs> Check out my other redstone video, and also I'm going to have a th this sort of analysis video for my Castle Wars 2 will be in the description when it's out. So once again, guys, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.